Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta from Norwalk Community College in Connecticut, and today I am going to show you how to make a homemade whole wheat fettuccine. So the first step to the 100% whole wheat fettuccine is to take it over to the food processor, and that's the quickest way to mix the dough. So 100% whole wheat flour. So we have one egg, cup of whole wheat flour, and we're going to put about a half a tablespoon of virgin olive oil in there and we might need a little water but let's see what we have consistency is so important we're gonna put about probably uh, we'll start with a tablespoon of uh, water might need a little bit more all right we want to see if we could hold it together see it holds together not quite the way we want it you don't want to make it too sticky so about one and a half tablespoons of water. They say if you're a good mason, you're a good dough maker because the consistency is about the same. So the consistency is nice. This holds together nicely. You want to test for salt content. So I added a little bit more. And we're going to need this again. So let's just take our dough and bring it together on the board here. And we're going to cut it and we're going to get it ready to go through the pasta roller to make it into a flat sheet. What I'm going to do is you flatten it out. People go crazy with flour on their board. It's just if it's getting too sticky and sticking. That's it, not a lot, all right? Just to keep it from sticking. So what I'm doing is I'm flattening it, getting it ready for the machine. And always start out small. I'm going to cut this in half, just like that. And let's go over to the pasta machine. I'll show you how to roll it out. Basic rolling technique. Start out with the rollers in here where they're wide. Put the pasta through. And you gradually make it thinner and thinner. All right. All right. Now go up a notch or two. Put this aside. Only use the dusting flour if it's necessary. Don't let it stretch too much, okay? And you want to get it as thin as possible. The whole wheat flour pasta has a tendency to break up and shred, so we can't go to the maximum, but we can get pretty close. This machine goes up to seven as being the thinnest. So we'll go to six, okay? Steer it, okay? And we're starting to shred. That's about as thin as I want. That's on number six. So always lay it on a little parchment paper or something. It's going to absorb the paper or a stick, so a little flour. Notice how I'm holding it on the back of my hands so your fingers don't poke through it. It's delicate, especially because it's kind of warm in here. Handle it gently. Don't poke your hands through it and lay it down there. We're going to cut the fettuccine, pick it up gently, right? Steer it through because it has a tendency to shift to the side. Once about halfway through, put your hand underneath it. The sheet of pasta is too long. Don't be afraid to cut it in half. Make it more manageable. Okay, now let's put it on the pan. Keep it loose. Just kind of turn it. Keep it loose. That's it. And you could freeze it. You could dry it, but make sure it's dry because it has egg in it. Now this whole wheat pasta cooks very quickly. So, and I'm going to go right from the boiling water to the pan. I just want to slowly start my garlic. So when I'm ready, to hit the pan with my noodles, my garlic is slightly cooked. So let that start to cook. Here's my whole wheat pasta. And we're just kind of put it in there loosely. Don't overcrowd your water because you lose the boil. And it takes too much time to recover, to come back. All right, we don't want to burn our garlic. So let's get a little bit of fresh tomato in there. Okay, a little pouille fousse, and pouille fousse, so let's drain it. The pasta is perfect, and we're going to go back to the stove and just throw it right in our pan. It's just too delicate, so always try to time it where you go right to the stove. Okay, now let's get some, we're going to add uh, some broccoli florets. Heat them up and one will kind of separate them out to help decorate the bowl. A little fresh ground black pepper. Yeah, let's plate it. Try not to over portion. 
It's hard for me. Let's show our broccoli. Okay, make sure the florets are facing up. Give it some tomato on the top so people can see. I'm going to finish it with a little bit of chive. So now we're going to taste it. Got to get into a rhythm when you roll out pasta, and then it's not that hard. I'm happy. I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta, and remember, it's just good cooking.